That is the final answer. So this entire rational functions that are multiplied, simplified, and all that end up giving you a very, very simple answer. Now, just for giggles, I'm not going to do this every time, but just for this one time, let's go ahead and, and do this the full-blown way. Let's multiply the original problem out. 5 times negative 6 is negative 30 x cubed. On the bottom, negative 3 times 10 is negative 30 x squared. You can see right away the 30s are going to cancel. You can see right away the, these uh, signs are going to divide away. The x squared is going to cancel. I'm only going to have one x left, so I'm just going to end up having x for the final answer. So you can always get the answer when multiplying these rational expressions, just doing it like a fraction. Multiply the tops, multiply the bottoms, simplify. But this is a simple problem. I'm going to give you a problem in a, in a little bit that would be quite a bit of work to multiply it all out first, then simplify. So I want you to get in the habit of trying to cross-simplify ahead of time because it's it's very important skill. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.